What's up guys and welcome back to the channel and in this video I'm going to show you how you can set up a web server on a Linux system that runs WordPress and it's going to be a pretty quick and easy tutorial and I have most of the commands right here that we're going to run in order to set up this web server. Alright and the first thing that you really want to do is you want to update and upgrade the server but we're going to assume that you've already done that and we are going to install the MariaDB server and the MariaDB client. So we'll type sudo app-git install MariaDB server and MariaDB-client. Great, so once you have that installed, you're going to want to run the MariaDB server. And you'll have to run that as root, so sudo MariaDB. And then we, uh, what we are going to do is we are going to create a database for our WordPress host. So we are going to type create database WordPress. Oh, and make sure you end up with a semicolon. And then we're going to exit out of that. And then we are going to type sudo mysql underscore secure installation. enter our root password and so now we have the mysql database set up on our mariadb client now what we need to do is we need to install php and wget so we'll type sudo app-git install php wget and we're going to be using wget to uh, fetch the latest version of wordpress and i'll show you how we're going to do that here in a second we have that installed before we actually download the latest version of wordpress what I'm going to do is I'm going to type cd documents and make a directory for our latest install of WordPress. So make dir and let's just call it latest WordPress. Go into our directory and then we're going to type wget https colon slash slash www dot wordpress dot org slash latest dot zip. We're going to download that. And then pretty much immediately after we download it, we're going to unzip it. So unzip latest.zip. And now that we have it installed, what we are going to do is we are going to install Apache 2, which we could have done that earlier, but we just need to do it before we move the WordPress files. So what we're going to do is we're going to type sudo app-git install Apache 2. Oh, it looks like we already have it installed. Awesome. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to move the WordPress folder into the area in which Apache 2 stores the web files. So what we want to do is we actually want to first make sure that Apache 2 is running. So we'll type systemctl status Apache 2.service and it's running. So now we are going to type cd wordpress and then we are going to copy everything into slash var slash www slash html and that's where all the web files for apache 2 are stored. So we're going to type sudo cp dash r slash var www html and as you can see there's already a file missing destination file great and so once so we need to copy all of them to var slash www.html there we go and now if we go in to cd slash var www.html we'll notice that there's actually two index files and we can find that out by typing ls grep index and there's an index.html and an index.php and if we look in the index.html file we'll notice that it's actually the default one that comes with Apache 2 and so what we are going to do is we're just going to remove that one so we'll type sudo rm-rf index.html and now we should only have our index.php file and so now what we need to do is we need to change the ownership of the www-data group to have ownership of slash var slash www. And so we can actually do that by typing sudo 
ch own dash r www dash data colon www dash data slash var slash www and I'm going to hold off on running this until after I get PHP MySQL and PHP CGI installed. So we are going to type sudo app-git install php mysql php-cgi php-cli and php-gd and then we'll get all of those installed and now that we have all those installed what we're we need to restart the apache 2 service so we'll type system ctl restart apache 2.service And then let's go ahead and check the status and make sure that we did it right. Awesome, so now it's running. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and change the ownership of the var www folder. And we'll do that by typing sudo chown r www data www data. That's user in a group of slash var slash www awesome and now that we've done that we just need to log in to our uh, sql database and then we need to add users into our sql database so what we're going to do is we're going to type sudo mysql dash u root logging in as a root user with a password and our password is the one that we set earlier awesome and now that we're in we can type show databases and we can see all the different databases. You can see our WordPress one right there. And so what we need to do now is we need to create a user that has control of that database for when we start a WordPress server. And so what we can do is we can type create user WordPress at percent. We could also put localhost here, but we're going to use percent identified by a password. And so we'll type password. What we need to do in order to grant all the privileges on the WordPress database to the WordPress user is we need to type grant all privileges on WordPress dot all to WordPress at and then this command will grant all the privileges on the WordPress, WordPress database to the WordPress user. Now, we should be done on the database side, so we're going to type exit. And now, in order to finish the rest of the installation, we need to start the GUI on this Debian system. And so how you can do that is type system, ctl, start, gdm, some, it might be gdm3 on some machines dot service we'll go ahead and start that and then we're gonna have to log back in through the GUI and then once we log back in we will have um, we will be able to go through the uh, Firefox side of things now that we're here in our new instance of Firefox what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to type localhost or 127-0.0.1. So we'll just type localhost slash. And this should take us to our uh, WordPress installation walkthrough. Yep. And so we're going to select English. Database name, username, password, and host. And... It, this should all be the stuff that we put in earlier, right? Database names, WordPress. It's already in there. Username, WordPress. Password, password. Localhost. And now this should take us through to the next step. And we can run the installation. Set the title of our website, and we can go ahead and call this my my new website username can be a uh, sleepy because I'm sleepy 
uh, your email. Uh, this isn't really necessary, so I'm going to go ahead and skip this. Unless you set up an email server, what this is going to be used to do is it's going to be used to send you an email if you forget the password. This being the password, you should really not forget that. And so I'm actually going to go over here in a comment, put L61 GXGH hashtag closing bracket A31 U y t at k h c all right now whenever you're done you will uh, be asked to log in with this password that we just made and then you will be able to log in to wordpress and uh, this is the uh, dashboard and it'll say howdy your name you can customize your entire site with different themes um, and I'll get more into this in a separate tutorial, but for now, that is how you set up a WordPress web server on Linux from scratch. So I hope this helped you guys out, and uh, thank you all for watching, I'll see you in the next video.